What are you in for? Playing soccer. That's kind that of cute. Awesome. No, no, I'm also a drug lord. No <laughs> way, bro. I run a cocaine empire. That's how I became a pro player. Oh, you're an Aries. That does make sense. Listen, poor boy in Uruguay, couple arrests for small crimes. But at 22, I got five years for drug trafficking. They sent me to Libertad, big mistake. How? What did you do? Made contacts. Italian mafia, Brazilian mafia. It was a world-class criminology education. And, and then, then what? what? I graduated. Oh. oh. I built my dream cocaine empire. We'd take our planes from Paraguay and fly to remote coke farms in Bolivia. Pack the plane with over $20 million worth. Then we'd take the product to ships that would go to the Atlantic and use ports known for poorly inspecting ships. And offload to cartels in Belgium and the Netherlands. Ooh. That's so good. But how do you launder the money? Uh, what do you do? Know. Some of the greats bought their home soccer teams. But I was the first to buy a team and play. All right. I upgraded the facilities, paid 10k to wear the famous number 10 jersey, and, and you won, won sports. sports. Not quite. He had high school level skills. I tried to mention, but the team insisted he played. If we won, he promised to pay them extra money. We rarely won. A few months later, Narcos officers were on to me, so I had to go. I went 20 miles away and bought a new team. The officers wrote a 500 page report and they were right, but slow. Their operation called at all costs to arrest me cost them everything and gave me an excuse to go to Dubai. So well, then what? what? The Emiratis arrested me not for trafficking cocaine, but for a fake passport. <gasps> but Uruguayan officials gave me a new passport and the Dubai officials let me go. Too bad the police didn't find out until I was already gone. What, what did, did you do, do then? then? Well, that February, they thought they had me. Arrested 24 of my associates, seized 100 million assets, in March, Interpol finally issued an international arrest warrant on my name. But I was out playing for another team in Bolivia. And, and then, then what happened? happened? Another raid to get me, 27 million in assets. They should have known I was tipped off and left days earlier. And scene. And that's what my life would be like if they caught me. But they still haven't. See you on the field, boys.